but they relax, not me. Me, it's Marty. No, oh, it can't be. Just sent you back to the future. Yeah. Oh, I know you did send me back to the future, but I'm back. I'm back from the future. Kids, what time is it? Last night's time travel experiment was apparently a complete success. Lightning struck the clock tower at precisely 10.04 p.m., sending the necessary 1.21 gigawatts into the time vehicle, which vanished in a brilliant flash of light, leaving a pair of fire trails behind. I therefore assume that Marty and the time vehicle were transported forward through time into the year 1985. After that, after that, I can't recall what happened. In fact, I don't even remember how I got home. Perhaps the gigawatt discharge coupled with a temporal displacement field generated by the time vehicle caused a disruption of my own brain waves, resulting in a condition of momentary amnesia. Indeed, I now recall that moments after the time vehicle disappeared into the future, oh, I saw a vision of Marty say he had come back from the future. Oh. Hey, Doc. Undoubtedly, this was some sort of a image. Doc! Ah! <laughs> Doc. Calm down, okay? Just calm down. It's me. It's Marty. No, it can't be you. I sent you back to the future. Hey, Doc, that's right, but I came back again. I came back from the future. Don't you remember last night? You fainted. I brought you home. This can't be happening. You can't be here. It doesn't make sense for you to be here. I refuse to believe that you are here. Doc, I am here, and it does make sense. Look, I came back to 1955 again with you, the you from 1985, because we had to get a book from Biff. So once I got the book back, you, that is the you from 1985, we're in the DeLorean, and I got struck by lightning, and you got sent back to 1885. 1885! It's a very interesting story, future boy, but there's just one little thing that doesn't make sense. If the me of the future is now in the past, how could you possibly know about it? You sent me a letter. Yeah,